Hello? Eureka, Billy Jean! It's Bobby Riggs. I had a great idea. Male chauvinist pig versus hairy leg feminist. You're still a feminist, right? It's called Battle of the Sexes, and it's about Billie Jean versus Bobby Riggs. Billie Jean King, already a champion of women's rights, is now the most successful female player of all time. Billie Jean is probably the first professional woman athlete that I really took note of. So the attention that it brought to women's sports was huge. I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. Who would pick up the balls otherwise? Oh, my God. Bobby was a hustler, the promoter, and he was a showman, apart from being a great tennis player. When Bobby beat Margaret Court, who was at the time the number one player, and women were publicly humiliated, Billie Jean knew she had to come in and set the record straight. I could beat Billie Jean King. Does she have the nerve? Call Bobby. Tell him it's on. Billie Jean in that era was going through so much pressure, professionally and personally. So, Billie Jean, what do you want? I'm gonna be the best. That way I can really change things. She's always been driven by affecting social change. And tennis was really the vehicle because she was so great at tennis, it really gave her a voice. Business, sports, you name it. At the very top, it's the men's world. This was a big moment. Tennis was popular, but that was crazy to play in a football stadium. 40 million people watching. The whole world was watching. It's like the sporting world's version of the moon landing. The battle you've all been waiting to see. The battle of the sexes.